Hey T. Right, we're gonna do this one first this time. I think last time we got back, put like three or four vlogs out and then thought, oh, we've got all this stuff that we need to put away from our Disney trip. So we're gonna do that first this time and show you what we, put, well, show you what the ladies purchased whilst we're really Right, so we're gonna try and do this quickly and he's already talking too much, isn't he? So we bought some beach towels for the kids. We didn't take any towels out there because we wanted to bring more stuff back. So we got these from Walmart. So this was Lila's stitch on, they're nice and big, quite thin, nothing special, but they're good beach towels. So Lila got a stitch run. Um, Dexter chose a Marvel one. And both chose Very big. the Mandalorian ones. They were nice and big. Um, they were 14 97 each and before tax. They were expensive in the gift shop. Yes, we found that we went around a few of the gift shops and they were, we thought, oh, we'll get them from there because they say on the towels, $5 and they're not $5 anymore. They're $22. They're $22, but the same towels in Walmart. Yeah, loads of choice though. Harry Potter ones, yeah. Disney ones, Florida ones, all that sort of stuff. We then got some ears that I bought. I bought these on the one of the last days and we didn't want resort hopping because I, we were like, we're not going to go back to Disney for a long time because it's too expensive. And then I just bought some ears, $34.99. Things in here. Oh my goodness. Right, it's not one point. Right, out. pins. So, this was like the year of the pins. Pin, everyone just went pin crazy. Pin trading, pin buying. So, these were in the. Were these character warehouse? Yeah. Yeah, these were character warehouse. So, Dexy got uh, a hat please one. So, they're $25 in the parks. And these were $9.99. $9.99. Um, they're like really big, they're called fig pins, they're really, really big, I mean, you can see how big they are against my hand. Orange yeah. bird. And that's like a display case as well. Yeah. yeah. And Lila yeah. bought one from the, um, one. let me show you the display case. From the outlets as well, so $9.99, the same ones in the park. They yeah, they were literally the same ones in the park. That's the back of them, so they're big backs. And then, talking of pins, we bought, the kids got lots of pins, as, as Jamie said. Um, so, let's start with Lila's because she got a lot. So, they did a lot of pin trading. So these are the ones that they bought. So she bought that one. She bought, all of these were, tra oh, she bought this one from Dexter. Lila and Dexter. Dexter bought her that one from Main, the Emporium on Main Street. And there was $11.99, that was one of the cheaper ones. Is it yellow and it does silver. spin? Yeah. The silver, yeah. sorry. The and then there's the Beast. I also got my like, six purple. Did you? Yeah, that's on there. Oh, this one as well. She's got so many stitch pins. And that was, how much was that, Lila? Uh, I think that was like, I can't remember. I think they're normally the ones. like coloured yeah. and graded. I think graded. that one was silver. 14 um, That went all my money because I took it. There's nothing on there. Um, what other ones did you get, Lila? I'm sure um, you got more than that. Oh, yeah. is this one yours? Yeah, that's one. I know this is mine. Yeah, that's not. This one was mine, I traded some, so I traded, got that one on a trade, which I thought was quite nice. Um, Bodie's collecting Pluto pins, so I need to put that on his, that was a traded one, and that was a traded Pluto one, I need to put those on his lanyard. I think that was, that was Lila's other, oh, here. Lila's other lanyard. So I bought Lila this, I bought the kids each a pin, so I bought Lila this one. Do this thing where you see and it, Mickey and Minnie spin. It's got all the four park icons there. I believe that was fourteen dollars ninety nine. And what other ones did you get? Like, I think that's it on that one, isn't it? Yeah. And then you got your Munchling pins. So Munchlings are like a oh no, hang on, who does that? That's Dexter's. No, not very well prepared. Though. And then it's a Lila then. Oh, the Munch Disney Munchlings is like a new, well not Disney, it's like new, where they, all the characters are like yeah. dressed as foods and desserts and snacks. So Lila first of all traded this pin, this little um, Winnie the Pooh cinnamon roll, and then we saw these blind bags in, I think it was just Contemporary Resort. Yeah. Really like soft ones and stuff. So Lila bought a couple of these bags and they are $39.99, but you get five pins. Yeah, five, they're, they're 40, exactly $40, but you get five pins, so I thought it's $8 for a pin, that's cheap. Yeah, that's they are quite small. So she got Goofy, Chocolate Bar. Brownie, I think, or something like that. Um, Oogie Boogie. He's Man. gelato. Gelato. Um, Eeyore. He's a blueberry muffin. Um, I think that's small. Thank you. 
cinnamon rummy. We wanted to get this plush and it was yeah. everywhere and then it sold out when we... That's ice cream. Ice cream Hades. And ice cream Maleficent. And that was the only duplicate you got from two yeah. packs. Which and I also did get a stitch pin, but we lost him in the car. Yes. So stitch as with all so kids, they get everything out straight away and one of them got lost down one of the seats in there. And that's the... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And that's the, you don't know if you can see the different ones you can get. I think they're on season two now, or? Season three. Season three. Season three. Um, so she knows. Right. Um, and then another pin I bought in the character warehouse was an orange bird pin. That was $6.99. 18, it was 18. $17.99. I don't know if it's a limited release edition. So there's often quite a lot of those in the um, character warehouses, aren't there? Yeah, that's right. So we got both, both, again, decided to go for Pluto pins. He also wanted some Lion King pins, it's his favorite. So in the character warehouse, the one on Finland, we got a pack, like a lanyard. Starter pack. Starter pack, which had like four ones attached to it. So Lion King lanyard, it comes with that. And then the ones that came with it, am I right in thinking it was these ones? Yeah, the four. So it came with that one, that one, and... It's all these four here, look. That Simba one and Pumba. Simba coming out, and then he bought. I mean, you did you buy them? No, he bought that one. So the, the, these were great. They had a lot of the like the films as magnet and as pins like that. Nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. All of them. A lot of these he traded. He got that set, I believe. There was that one. They were nineteen dollars ninety nine for like a blind box. And that box. came with. So there's a box of two, and that one came with as well. Which other ones did he He bought buy? this oh, one. The so star one, which is like double layered. I think that was 17. Doesn't it like cover someone's face and it focuses? How did you do it? The scar anyway. Scar. And I think that was. Oh no, and Rafiki. He bought Rafiki as well. Yeah. Where's the actual camera for this side? Yeah. It's focusing on your face. On your face? I don't know. And Rafiki. So he got loads of those and he traded all the rest. And then he also got these ones, these Pluto lanyards that he sort of wanted to collect. These were all traded, all these ones that you see like everywhere. Um, those ones. But he or I bought, I bought the kids each a pin and I bought him that little Pluto there. <laughs> Again, I think that was the, the one of the cheap ones, eleven ninety nine is the cheapest. And then Dexter's pins. Last one, I think I got pins somewhere. I don't know where that is, but we'll find that. And um, Dexter bought a pack of these, another blind bag. We quite like those. They're called fantasy packs, so they look like bum bags or fanny packs. So he traded that Pegasus one, and then he saw a pack in contemporary. So in that he got Simba, he got uh, Raja. He got the White Rabbit. He got Dumbo. I think he, we seem to have two of those. We ended up with like two of those at one point. Yeah, I think true. And then we think that's Car from Jungle Book. It is. And then I bought the pins I bought them. I bought Dexie this Peter Pan pin. Sorry, I don't, I don't know how to get it to focus. And I think. Oh, Lila bought him this pin, this Guardians pin, because he's a big Guardians fan. Focus so on my old hands. <laughs> and then I think that was it for the buying. The rest he traded, and he started to collect these little ones. These like skull and crossbones. That's Goofy, Donald, Minnie, Daisy. Yeah, we it's found supposed to be like the potion today. labels from Emperor and Gear. That's we got two of those ones for Brady, ones for Dex, and um, yeah, that. Can find the key. And then because Dex has got loads of random pins, we then bought him this lanyard, a spare lanyard from Walmart, which was two ninety seven. Lila's uh, lanyard was her, oh, her, her Tinkerbell one she bought, which was fourteen ninety nine. Okay. Yeah, so that lanyard she bought as well, with that on the end. And they they are better quality than Disney ones, but I mean Lila's a serious pin collector, so she's got her own money. So that's pins. Right, Poncho, so you can get. Ponchos in the park, they all come out when it starts raining. It rains a lot in Florida over the summer, but you can get them from Walmart and Publix and places like that. So we got two adult ponchos, three junior ponchos. They have loads, they've got Mickey ones, they've got mini ones, Lila got a stitch one. They've got plain ones. They've got plain ones that they've got 
Star Wars ones, they were all five, like 547 or something random like that. Yeah. So again, and they're like... They do rip, we had, with Bodhi, we got his second one because they do rip and he wasn't wearing them, being funny with them. They just, they're not very strong, but we managed to bring them home. Um, the next thing, I don't know if you can just look at that one, is we've got these banshee eggs. So they, in Pandora, obviously, they've got Flight of Passage, which is one of the boys' favourite rides. Last year, Dex got one of the massive banshees, which is still, I can see it now in our home, it's hardly been played with, and that was $70 or something. These were $39.99, and it comes with an egg, and then inside the egg is a little banshee, and then the banshee clips onto this little wristband and slides on and then you can wear it on your <laughs> you can wear it as a um as a pet sort of thing dexter got a red one and Bodhi got a blue one um and they come what's the blue one? Oh my god that one's just run off the blue really one. stable and, well and then together, they come obviously. with a little bug they're, they're magnetic I didn't realize. and then you can feed it and play with it. It's about half the price of the other banshees, but they, they aren't, Bodhi lost a wing, we managed to find it. So we're just gonna sort of put a little bit of super glue on to keep that in. But it's quite they a nice- They interact um, and they, like, yeah, they, they make them do talk stuff. talk to each other and they sleep in their leg. So it's quite a nice alternative to the expensive banshees. I kind of wish Dex has got one of these in the first place rather than his big one, but that's what you want to buy. That's right. So that's Billy and Bobby. Um, Billy and Bobby. So again, the kids were like getting things based on their favorite rides and stuff. So we managed to get on Tron. Whilst we were out there a couple of times, and Barry really loved it, he got a little snap band. I think they sell these pretty much most of the traffic in most of the shops and stuff like that. They were $12.99, $12 or if you bought two, they, were, it was, they weren't like $10 each, but they still want one, so. Yeah, so that was Bailey's little purchase for himself. Um, so, a couple of things that are not Disney, but from Disney Parks. This is actually from Disney Springs in T-Rex. This is Dexter's, um, I think it's... Oh, there's a crocodile there, alligator tooth necklace that he got. I think this was about $10. <laughs> we let the kids have, we didn't give them nowhere near as much like spending money as they had last time around. So we were quite selective in what they wanted. Yeah. And Dex was really up for a tooth necklace. So. And then these little cats, again, not Disney, but these were from the Japan shop in Epcot. These little cats are, um, each colour means something. So obviously gold is good luck and fortune. Pink, I can't remember what they all mean. We're going to have to Google it. Um, but there were things like creativity. Um, Lila's going off to vocation school in a week or so. So these are like for her to have, to like, you know, bring her luck or, I don't know. Guide her on her journey. Guide her on her journey, whatever whatever she needs to. So she got five of those and I think they were perhaps $3 each, $3, $4 like each. That. They were from the big Japan shop. Yeah, they're really Epcot. cute. I know one's, one's for like, yeah, clarity of mind. And like good, luck in, good luck in the arts and all stuff like that. And mm -hmm. academia and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, Lila was chatting to, she was buying Bexy, um the Guardian's pin from the Guardian shop as she come out of Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, and she was chatting and the guy just gave her a little Zandar, Zandar currency. currency money, Sorry. which was for freeze. So I mean, she'll probably end up doing that to Dexter and he can have it in his bedroom. Right, there's a few bits we got from the walk from Walmart. Um, again, like the lanyard, like the towels, you can pick up really cheap Disney merch from Walmart. It's not as good quality, but if you look looking for t-shirts or things to, like the kids wanted to get stuff for their friends, it's cheaper to pick mm. up key rings from Walmart than it is from Disney. But I got one from one of my friends um, who likes Mickey, so that's a C, one of my friends, uh, $5, and a pin. Now, I think these pit, these aren't Disney pins, but these are tradable because there were a few of these on the boards, I think. Mm. I don't know, Dexter ended up with a, a pin from Walgreens, which was on the board, but um, pen, Mickey pen. I think that was $2 or something. Um, oh, I'm a fan of Mickey, never mind. And then I bought these because I wanted to get a pen from Disney, but they're so expensive and I always lose my pens. So that's three, three for $5, so who you knows? Mm. And I just found my other pin that I bought um, for myself, which is a gummy bears pin because... I mean, nostalgia, look at that. Bouncing here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. Right. Um, as I did last year, because Disney popcorn is the best popcorn in the world, I got a popcorn bucket. So they had a couple of like novelty ones. I think I got, we got a couple of <laughs> really novelty ones last year. But this is like the bog standard one, but it's nice. It's the 100th anniversary one. They had like a Guardians one. They had like a Mickey picnic basket one and stuff like that. But 13 
and you get popcorn in it and then you can do refills for the rest of your time in the parks and it's like two dollars 75 for a refill or something like that so that was used a lot whilst we're in the disney parks it's just nice to go and get a quick snack and do it that way we were in typhoon lagoon and they do a um souvenir cup which is refillable for the whole day so how much was that set was on like 17.99 yeah, something, something like that but you, you can own you can reactivate the chip if you're in if you're staying in a disney resort or whatever and you can get your your refills i don't know and stuff if like i that. don't know if you can well they said when i put it on the machines sure. in the resorts they said go and see a cast member about reactivating oh, so, so i think you can so this came uh with typhoon lagoon and we filled it up for the whole day we used that again a lot in typhoon lagoon which is really really mm. good um do you want to talk about that um yeah. and then i got we got these again this is from the munchling range so again because Lila's going away we got a mum and daughter key ring so these were as i was saying keyring $16.99 for two so it's chippendale and they are like muffins um so we did the uh, it was food and wine whilst we we're out there again and we did the remy's ratatouille um scavenger hunt where you find lots of remy's dotted about uh, the world showcase and there's a prize at the end of it. We did it last year and forgot to collect the prize. So we, we kind of told them that and they gave us a prize in advance, which was a lunch box, lunch bag. There were numerous options and Ali went oh. for Figment one. So really nice, we did actually use this whilst we were on our trip. So again, not too massive, but perfect for a little, little lunch box. Uh, they had like a Mickey one, Minnie one. Mickey, Encanto, Encanto Remy one. or Figment. Yeah, and Ali thought, well, it's, you probably can't get these many places. So. after my Figment. Um, on the munchling theme again, this is one of the, this came in a blind box, so I bought this and it was $14.97 or something along that. Um, so Character Warehouse again came up Trump, so the boys are just like anything that could cause danger or damage. Um, there was a lot of Black Panther stuff in all of the outlets, um, the ones that we went to, so there was a, we've never seen Black Panther, so I don't know what this is, who this belongs to, but it's some kind of spear device that you kind of like attach it and it makes it longer two. we bought two one for dex's friend who's got a birthday party when he comes back it was ten dollars you're probably looking at like close to 30 in the parks i would have thought i think they're still selling in the park yeah but they're made of like foam like really tough foam so uh it's a little bit more yeah, not too much like that not too dangerous when you get boshed yeah. um so yeah, that was something you got from the character warehouse. They were in both of them. So Lila's stitch mad and smack mad. So she saw um, this, which she's going to take with her when she goes away. So this is stitch as a pineapple upside down cake and a little plant. Best sort of plants that don't need watering. Um, we got home and all it is, this was the pin that she had that we lost in the car. Somewhere mm -hmm. in the hire car, we just couldn't find it. We took the seats out. So yeah, oh, that was... I don't know how much it was. Oh, 20, mm, 24 .99. What? Again, that's what I was, She chose to spend her money. Unbelievable. It's sense. very cute. So again, Character Warehouse, you can pick up all random stuff. It changes so regularly. Ali picked up a like swimming beach bag. I mean, we've never been to Castle OK or run anything like five kilometers over there either. Um, but this was proper cheap, wasn't it? Like two? Yeah. Two dollars? Two dollars ninety nine, and we did, ,99. and it's got like the zip there, zip in, in there and then and the inside zip. On the inside so we took well. back to the water parks and to the beach and stuff. So it was just yeah. really handy while we're out there. Really nice to have, and like, the kids could use that as a swimming bag when they get yeah. home. So happy days about that. And then I got this t. We didn't buy many clothes. I got this no. t-shirt in um, the character warehouse, fourteen dollars ninety nine. Was thirty seven in the box. Yeah, it's nice, quite thin. But again, we were sort of like, right, no, we can't, we can't afford to come out next year. So I didn't really look at the t-shirts because I don't want to get into that. Oh, but I've got a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I did that last year. I bought one from Cat's Warehouse. And I managed to, one, fit into it, and two, wear it a lot, which is quite Yeah. Nice. Um, okay, so back to the board. Um, so the kids love their cuddly toys. They've got them all over their bed. So we normally say they can get one or maybe two whilst they're out there. Bodes was obviously proper into Pluto. So he He's got, got a, a Pluto, really, Pluto, isn't he? Plus, he got the Bigfoot Plus last year. And this is one of another... He was $24.99 and he did want to get the 100th anniversary one, but he was a lot smaller and harder. Mm. He did have a purple collar with a with a thing that said 100 on it, but this one's quite cute. Like it's yeah, really nice and soft. Pluto, and he's a bit bigger, so yeah. for the same, you got more Pluto for you. I think the 100th one was 29 99 it was smaller. So more you get Pluto more Pluto for your money. For your money. So he sits up nicely. So he's cute, we'll go on Brady's bed. And then um, I, I'll show you my one first. I bought this, so cute. I don't know why. Well, I saw it in Hollywood Studios and I was like, I really want that. 
It's just so cute. And then it's so, it was on one of the little stands on the outside bit when you first come in. And then they all sold out and I was like, oh, should have got it. And then we saw it in the last, one of our last days in Car no, in the big one. What's the big one called? World of Disney. World of Disney. And I just bought it. I'm sure Dexter will look after it for me. So he really likes Hercules. He was 29.99, one of the Bigfoot ones, which are so cute. Yeah, they are cute. And then I've got another Bigfoot. So sh this is Marie. And she did have a bow on the back, which fell off quite quickly. So I've got to try and sew that back on. And these, yeah, 29.99. I mean, you think about it. It's a bit silly, isn't it? But... <laughs> you can say that about... 90% no. of this stuff. I don't need you to wear this on. Oh, mate. <laughs> so if you've been to Port Orleans French Quarter, you know beignets are the nicest thing on planet Earth. And I just got right in the whole spirit of things and decided to rustle up some beignets when I get home. So beignet mix. Again, normally I was like, oh, is this going to be, here's some flour in a box, add everything. But it's got everything in. All you need to do is add water. It's got the how to do it. We've got a Mickey like cutter as well. So hopefully we can make some Mickey shapes. Beignets, $7.99 from the Port Orleans French Quarter shop that is there. So, I'm going to cook them at the weekends and right. reminisce. I'm really excited about this and I can't wait to open this. So, we went to the Bows, I think that's how you say it. There's one, it's like a shop in a shop. So, there's one in the Christmas shop in downtown, downtown Disney, Disney Springs. And there's one in the... Uh, is it called D Trend or the one that sells all the like clothes and stuff? Oh, okay. I can't yeah. remember what it's called. Yeah, yeah. But I think they're dotted all over it's Disney. The co -op. Is it the co op? That's it. Marketplace. Co op marketplace. And um, in uh, the Pandora shop, after flight like, passage, they had an oil diffuser burner thing. And I was saying, oh, does this come with a smell? And then a guy said, no, you can buy the smell at this shop. So we went there. And then I was like, well, right, if I buy an oil diffuser and oil. So, so anyway, saw these wax melts. Love wax melts. So it's Clover World is the flight passage smell and it's the Polyne is it Polynesian uh, smell from Soarin? Is it the Polynesian they fly over? What, yeah, like the islands of Fiji. Yeah, there's loads of smells. But if you go in there and say, what's the smell of the Taj Mahal in Soarin? They know what yeah. they are. So this is meant, yeah, so it's called Clover World. So I got two, these are $12 each. But if you buy two of something the same price, so two candles, two wax melts, you can mix and match smells. You get $2 off each item. So because these are $12, because I bought two, they're $10 each. And I wish actually I bought more. Yeah. Because you can't really, well, you can sort of smell them. You can. They, they had, yeah, they had like all the storing ones, Christmas loads of other scents. ones. They had like doll whip ones and stuff like that. It, I mean, you'll nose, you go a bit nose blind after a while, but they do have some nice, unique ones. Like different to the that. Yankee candy. Yeah, all of them. Like, they had Haunted Mansion, which yeah. was had um, good Pirates. And I was like, I couldn't decide, so I just got two of those, because that's nice. Yeah. Um, so we, we got... Bose didn't go on Haunted Mansion last year, but we got everyone on Haunted Mansion. It was really traumatic, wasn't it? Getting, getting, getting Bose on, really on Haunted didn't Mansion. Go on. He wasn't you like it, it's fine. Looking forward to it. But it turned out, I mean, the picture is awful of him just literally not being very happy. First time. But it turned out to be one of his favourite rides and he absolutely loved it. So to remember the whole traumatic experience, mm -hmm. we've got a little. He chose it, he's um, desperate to get it. Doom buggy with the, go the ghost host and the hitchhiking ghost on top of it. So he is going to. Love that and remember every up and down. Oh, there's a couple of Disney things. Right. You can talk about that. So then this was my, I wanted a mug and I wanted a mug that had a white inside because it does make a difference. So we've got a couple of mugs last year. One's red inside, which is this one, which is a nice size mug. And I got a Guardian Galaxy one, which is black inside. I'm trying a white one because I do think it, it tastes better tea. Anyway, so this one, it's nothing special, but the kids chose it in the end. I had about three or four lined up. So this one says mom. And then on the back, which I really like, but it's got all the park icons. And then inside, it's white. In, no, but also it says, look, Walt Disney World. Oh. And it's a good size. Good size. How much was that? Sixteen dollars ninety-nine. Not bad. Wow. Um, they had the sorry, I was almost break that. They had these Starbucks tumblers, which are straw ones, screw top. They had them in like big sparkly like silver ones, gold ones, multicolored ones. But I went for the black one. They were doing a deal, weren't they? They are like full, they are $50. $50. But they were doing a deal on them. I think and it's, they it's 50th. Were... These ones, are, you yeah. just see that's 50th. And there was a gold 50th one. And a, like a... Was the silver one 50th one as well? No, silver one's 100th. So the 100th ones and all the new ones. So yeah, there was this matte black one. There was gold plasticky one, which was like gold and black. And then there was a, like a metal one. 
that wasn't wasn't this diamondy sparkly effect it was like just silver stainless steel and they were thirty dollars yeah so i mean still like yeah but look there you go just finish it how that worked <laughs> because for like i don't know like water bottles i've got a water bottle at the moment you have to take the top off and it's just it's easy to just pick it up and drink it. True. Right, so that's all the Disney. Oh no, hang on. And last thing, oh. there is another couple of pins as well that we bought that we, I don't know where they are, but if we find them, I will show them. And then I bought one of these bags as well, these bags, but I think these are like $4. It's a nice size. Well, Disney World, Disney Parks, got Disneyland in the back. And this is good because I've, I have the 50th one. It's big enough to fit. You may or may not know, I work in a school. I can fit my books in here to mark, to bring home, and my laptop. And it goes on your shoulder, so like, I can carry more on my shoulder. Again, just in case you didn't know how bags, how bags work. But it's right. good, they're good for bag lives. I recommend this 10 is out of 10. Done. On to the next section. Um, this is universal stuff. Not much universal stuff, actually. No, not at all. Um, I think we did go a bit Harry Potter crazy last year, so... And we found there wasn't much new stuff there, so... Um, the kids weren't as, and I, they weren't even Disney, they weren't as like, can I have this, can I have this? So it's quite a bit of a nice. A bit subdued. But obviously first thing, the Universal Cup. Um, we speak about this in the vlogs, this top is rubbish. Awful. Like trying to drink from it is really awkward. So we first we were using straws and then we realised our Typhoon Lagoon mug fits on the top. So we had the straw, so that was good. Um, but works the same, we used it loads. This was the only, so we got this in Volcano Bay, $17.99 for one. I think it's like a dollar off every time you buy multiple, etc. And then free refills in the refill mm. machines for the whole day. And then it was about 11 something, including tax, to reactivate it every day. So we literally but rinsed bear in mind, a bottle of water is $6 in Universal, or, a, or Coke is $4, I think, or something. Yeah. So the five of us, if we all get a drink and the kids aren't the best at sharing, you know, oh, I didn't have, I mean, they can, but it just is easier. We would go, and you can fill this up every 10 minutes. So um, it does go quite quick enough. So you should, you're not supposed to share. Um, but you, they do so much stuff and they do a lot of like sugar-free, like we had a lot of the sugar-free Minute Maid, like was still, so that's good because Dex and like fizzy drinks. Yeah. They're good. But again, like carrying water bottles around Disney World, my backpack was just heavy every single day. So we froze water bottles and took them around Disney because Disney don't have an in-park refill machines and things like that. So this, just to have it, carrying it around the whole time, was just nice not to have it loaded on the back. Yeah. So they did, uh, the only place I saw the old one was in those tacos up uh, next to where like Panda Express and Redbox and stuff. And we got one of these last year, but we left it at the villa. And if we wanted, if we had it, we could have taken it back and reactivated it. Same yeah. with your popcorn bucket. Yeah, true. Uh, so annoyingly, we have popcorn buckets, we've got to take it with us. Yeah. yeah. So um, get one of those, uh, they're really good. The other thing we bought is we, we normally try and get like some kind of Christmas. Christmas is big in this house. We love Christmas. We've got free Christmas trees. So we like to decorate them with things that are important. So we wanted to go to Disney and get one. Um, but last year we got quite a lot of Disney ornaments. So... And there was none that really like floated our boat. No, that was, yeah, that so was tacky, the Harry it? Potter ones are lovely. There's loads I could have bought. They were just a bit more, you know. So anyway, we went for this one because we thought it would stand out nicely on the tree. Apart from nine three quarters, don't really need to say anything. And this was eighteen dollars ninety nine. So quite um, reasonable, I guess. When you're in, <laughs> you get into that mindset, and you're like, oh, that's, that's really cheap. I, I've never spent nineteen pounds on an ornament no, in England. Right, so the boys again, they love their cuddly. So this is the Hungarian horn tail, mm. which has been named Hazakin. Yeah, the lady was very impressed that Dexter knew what dragon it was. Yeah, where did they get this from, and how much was it? This was from the big Universal store in City Walk. Um, I believe it was twenty four ninety nine. Okay. Um, I think they had they had it in a few places. I saw it, but. Is what it is. And Bode's got, he loves Flight of the Hip, Pim Griff. It's one of his favourite, if not his favourite ride. Right. So we got a Buckbeak, which looks like, it's I don't know. Most attractive thing No, it looks world, like an, it? an interesting parrot pigeon mix. But he loves it. But it is pretty sweet. It stands up. It, <laughs> I mean, yeah, there you go. Look yourself out. That was probably the same price, about $25 now, or something like that. pins from, they got loads of pins in Universal and they are very reasonably priced. But one pin we didn't see last year that we wanted was a Hagrid's pin and we found one. I mean, to be fair, it's quite a rubbish pin. It doesn't say the name on it. It's 
So this was eight dollars. Eight dollars. So Lila wanted to get that, and I have to say, one of the one of the really good moments of holidays, all going on holidays yeah. together. The boys like they don't really Dexter doesn't really do roller coasters, but he absolutely loved it. So yeah, it's a nice, it's a memory. I'm not mad about pins for souvenirs because I think they don't take up too much room and they're really nice memories. Yeah. Eight dollars bargain. Yeah, that's that's, that's all the universal stuff. Should I just plug press straight on? Yeah. No. Right, this is free stuff. So we've got from here on out. If you don't want to watch, we've got some freebies. We've got some clothes and like underarm. Oh, and food. Should I do that next? No, let's do this. Next. Right. So free stuff. Like, what is the I don't know what's in this bag. Home. No idea what's in it. Right, there. okay. So I'll just start getting stuff out and then you can Oh yeah, that's from Universal. You can do oh, that. Okay, there you go. So again, Universal snacks are not really sort of well publicised on people's blogs and stuff like that. So one of the things we've seen was the cauldron cake. Um so Lila decides to get the cauldron cake, so it comes with like a rubbery comes in a rubbery cauldron. Cake itself is like 99% icing, 1% cake. Not I wouldn't recommend it as an actual Let's get this for a snack kind of thing. But it comes with a little thing that you can make into, I don't know, pen pot. Oh, pen pot. Pen I'm gonna take that and use it on my desk at school. Pen pot, sort it out. Um, okay, other things. So I've got a pile of stuff. Some of it is like quite interesting. Okay, so we've got these lays, we didn't, the kids do. So they're waterproof because they're from Typhoon Lagoon. And around one of the pools, around one of the pools, um, I can't remember which one it was, to be honest. They had like some entertainment and the kids played Simon Says and it ended up being Lila and Dexter left in because they've been playing Simon Says quite a lot. Sorry, Mickey Says. Mickey says. And they both won and they got one of these. One thing we, got. Oh, we went to Yak and Yeti oh, yeah. and I mean like most things in these shops they come in like their kind of kids drinks came in a little Yak and Yeti cup. So I don't know what was in here, probably chocolate milk or something like that. Um, but that was from Animal Kingdom, Yak and Yeti and that was the charged drink. And we are that family that, well, the boys got a map every day. So we have yeah, lots of maps. Nice. I mean, your gra your their grandparents, your parents are going, so we'll give them up. But yeah. it's nice. The kids are like, looking at them. And one lady was saying about, oh, you can use them to do scrapbooks. They might do that. And obviously the, the maps we had last year, the 50th anniversary ones. So these are just the newer ones. So obviously all the parks, Disney Springs, um, water parks, which would have been very handy when we were at the water park. And then Universal, they have both their maps in one um Handy. Obviously, you can just use your My Disney Experience or Universal. Yeah, but I like a map. That has the maps in it. But Dexter was very keen on getting a map. Yeah, it, and then other leaflets. This was the Sea Screamer that we went on, which is in one of our last vlogs, I guess it would be. The last one, yeah. And um, in Clearwater. Clearwater. And it, again, just for the memories. Um, coupon books that literally are in every place you stop off. On Walmart, like iDrive or Walmart especially. or anything like that. So again, it's worth, because we ate in... Well, we ate at Sickies and realised that there was a 20% mm. off voucher in here. They've got airboat rides. as well. Enjoy Florida. This magazine's and quite handy. Like it's got like that's for um, Kennedy Space Centre. It's got maps on it. So again, we got this on the, one of the last days. Oh, that might be handy. But yeah, look at all those. Look at all the discounts. McDonald's so we'll give those like to Jamie's on the when they go. Yeah. Again, more leaflets. Anime Island, the map for where we went, which... It was lovely. Go on, you do that one. I'll do this one. So, um, we went to Chicken Guy and we spent about four and a half days deciding what uh, sauces everyone was going to get. So, we just took yeah. one of these. I think my, like I said, my mum and dad are going out soon, so I think they can save They give those out as you go in, the, the ladies so, there. So, you, and it, it was good. You don't feel too rushed. Like sometimes when I go somewhere like Subway, I feel a bit like under pressure. So, I just get the same thing. Because I don't know what's on the menu, but they weren't they weren't rushing you. It was cool. It wasn't busy when we went there. But yeah. and then the next thing is I've got lots of stickers now. Oh, cast members and things are just so nice. So this one I don't know where that came from, but someone obviously got a sticker somewhere. These came from the um, art shop, the Art of Disney shop. Is that what it's called in Disney Springs? Yeah. And just there was a guy just talking to Dexter for ages about drawing and like drawing what he likes to draw and books that he uses and stuff. And then they just got some stickers for them because that they're just lovely, aren't they? And then these yeah. ones, these, we got hundreds of these because these are the DVC um, stickers and they're very clever because they put pin boards by the DVC stands. So obviously the kids would go up and do pin trading and you'd get chatting to the, car, the guys that work there, they'd give the kids some stickers and yeah, I mean, that wouldn't that be lovely? So yeah. loads of stickers and we've got a few um, badges as well, but I think I might have a, a, a 
Excellent. Um, we drank at Ogre's Cantina and we decided to half inch the coasters that you get when you're there. I mean, they're literally boshing these out left, right, center. So there was a couple of different ones that we got from Ogre's Cantina. Um, these you get, this little postcard was from our breakfast at Ohana. So they did come around and sign autographs as well, but that's just, uh, we had three of these, but I didn't know where they would have gone. No, I've got no idea. And then lastly, the Epcot Food and Wine, sponsored by Corksicle. Uh, you call it the passport? I don't know. Yeah, it's festival, yeah, festival passport. passport. Just tells you what like food and drinks are in yeah. every single booth, so you can kind of pre-plan. That's a bit cool. Pre-plan you, pre -plan you, wanna eat day, if you can't, can't you? decide. And then there's at the back, there's the um, a meal, a meal's fromage, fromage, fromage trail or something, the cheese, but there's a lot of things on there. I've got quite a fussy family and I just couldn't eat it all by myself. Right, let's do some food. Food. Oh my God, this is really pretty. Oh, also, sorry, with our... Um, yeah. AttractionTickets.com tickets, so we've got a combo ticket, Disney Universal ones from them. They came with a free magic band, that was part of the part of the offer, but we've obviously got magic bands for my last trip. But I still picked them up anyways um, from the gift shop in Planet Hollywood at Disney Springs. So I'm gonna give two of these to my parents that are going out, and then we've got three that I don't know what we'll do. Whether the kids like battery runs out at some point, we can give those one each or but when does the battery start? Is it for when you activate it or is the battery ticking on? You know, people say they last like two, three years, so yeah, I guess we'll, we'll find out if we go again. But we can maybe like, I don't know, give them to people as gifts or I don't know. Okay, so snacks and things. We've got quite a few snacks out there, for like the parks and stuff. Um, goldfish were always very popular. And then I saw these in Target, I believe, which is the 100th celebration edition. Um, 100 years of wonder. And look at the little crackers. So we did have a pack of these and we had a few packs of just normal goldfish and I don't really want to open those, but we brought those home. Um, just tuck in down there, James. And then I bought a pack of these and I still haven't opened oh. them. It's the Tacky's Blue Heat. So I just don't know what they're going to taste like. Apparently they're really hot, isn't it? Like, I think there's TikTok challenges and stuff, but maybe a, I didn't want to buy a massive bag. So I've got a little bag, it's probably about the same price, but... All these snacks from Walmart. Yeah, like some of these puppies. snacks are just like the novelty of American sweets that you can't get anywhere else. So Twizzlers, if you've been to the States, no doubt you've had a Twizzler before. So they literally taste like strawberry plastic. Um, these are Lila's take. Really moorish. So yeah, Lila's gonna take a few of these up to school when she goes up there in a few days. So there's the strawberry ones, and then there's the rainbow flavored ones that she's gonna take and keep in her snack box. And um, these were for me, so I love a Kit Kat. Chunky Kit Kat's my favourite one. I saw these Kit Kat birthday cake flavour. American chocolate isn't usually very nice, is it? Um, obviously, what they taste like. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're really good. Yeah. Um, there's like Oreos coming out of any shop and various flavours, but we've got the Halloween Oreos, which are like orange cream, um, orange coloured cream, same taste, sorry. So it's not orange flavour, they just look ghoulish. So we've got two packets of those. I got the peanut butter chocolate pie ones that were really nice and we also had the toffee crunch ones in there as well, didn't we? They were really good, yeah. Really and good. then um, these were Lila's as well, so she's really into Sour Patch Kids. So these are the Lemonade Fest. So their flavours are strawberry lemonade, blue raspberry lemonade, lemonade and cherry limeade. Yum. Hello. Hello. And then Jolly Ranchers. Ranchers. Hard candy. Could use those on the plane actually. Animal crackers, never tried these, but I just thought, wow, they look fun. Let's just buy them. Fun. And then a few like think I'm gonna take these into school as a little, hello, I went to America, enjoy some American chocolate. They were like $14, but like a real chunky, one kilogram of chocolate. There we go. And then this was just left in our cupboard, mac and cheese. Kids ate a lot of mac and cheese everywhere we went out. They weren't, a fan, they weren't a fan of this one though, the Publix one or the Walmart own one, they ate loads, but they weren't a fan of that. And then just some cookies and cream Hershey's as well, they're gonna go in like this snack box. I think that'd be nicer than the milk chocolate. Goes to school, yeah, so that, that's food. Okay, um, then if you've had enough, next is Bath and Body Works stuff. Oh, here we go. Give so, the people what they want, Ali. When you were in there, and it was the last day of this deal, right? These body sprays that I wanted to buy a couple of, because they're like four, 14 or 17 or something. 
Oh, there's no price. Oh, eighteen dollars ninety five usually, but they normally do like two for. I buy one get buy two get three free or something like that. Anyway, it's seven dollars each, and they're really nice and they smell really good. So I got loads. So I got the gingham one. Again, a bit like uh, James said, when you go into like candle shops and stuff, ivory cashmere, you go nose blind. So I just, in the end, just went for the ones that I like the look of the bottom. Um, at the beach, I've been wearing that one. That's very like coconutty. Champagne toast. I know that smell because I had it in the hand gel. Um, cactus blossom. Again, I know that smell because we had a candle last year. So I'm going to smell like a candle. And champagne, apple and honey. Now this one's for the boys because Lila had this scent last year and the boys use it as their, like, we spray it on their bed, bed to make them have thingy. And then, have a nice room. And then Lila bought some as well. So she got cactus blossom as well to remind her of home. She got, this was the last one in the whole Ooh, shop yeah. and it had already, some had gone, but it's the strawberry pound cake, which is so Really, tasty. really nice. Yeah. However, when we went back a few days later and the offer was not on anymore, they had loads in stock for $18.95 and another champagne honey blossom apple. And then soaps. So we bought last year the Mickey foaming soap, um, which has run out and some other bath and body work stuff. So we bought some more soaps. I picked up like two or three. And then she's like, if you buy five, I can't remember what it was. Five, it was an offer, but I can't really remember what it was. But you needed to buy five, five for, I can't remember. So they're, they're the foaming soaps that go in the Mickey like presser. They do some other ones as well, don't they? Um, they yeah. Press down ones now. But I, I just so that was I spellbinding actually, sweet. I like these bottles. This little the Halloween Smell stuff. Candy. Like, so, Ghoul friend. I've had that in hand gel, so that's nice. So and then yeah, we've got two of the hand gels, hand soaps, the foaming ones. So we bought this one, Chris Morning Air, which is in our um, thing at the moment, bathroom at the moment. We got an afternoon apple picking. Again, it's a little bit like just going with what looks nice. Yeah, and Bose was loving yeah. this one. He was just, he put it on himself. So that's not the foam one, that's just the, the normal one. But where you can go in and like try the soaps, so he just kept going for this orange, like mandarin flavor. He that's loved not it. good. So we did get that one for him. Well, not for him, for us. And then, of course, the little hand gels. Oh, nice. So these are um, five for eight dollars. So Lila bought 10. <laughs> and we bought 10 to share so you're having two i've got two of them but they're so nice so i've got a little you can get a little holder with it as well that i've got on have it my lanyard for work and when you, you put it put it on and people come and go oh it smells really nice in here um so yeah we got we got that one's black cherry merlot this, this smells really strong it's lovely um sweater weather this is the best oh, one strawberry, strawberry pound cake so good. really really nice Champagne toast, that's obviously a really popular scent because they didn't have a lot of that yeah. stuff around. Um, Chris Morning Air, so that goes with the soap that we got. Another black cherry merlot, another strawberry pancake. Um, afternoon apple, have we got one of those? Afternoon apple picking and another strawberry pancake. So I think, and Lila got very similar flavours as well. So that's the bath and body stuff. Right. So outlets, we found that the there's the Vineland Premium Outlets and the International Drive Premium Outlets. We found that the International Prime, International, International Drive. Drive Premium Outlets had better stuff, but the offers weren't always as good. Do you say? I'd say... It's a bit more expensive, some of the stuff. I'd say other way around. Oh. The Vinelands one... Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. The Vinelands, which is closer to Disney, okay, had... Yes, that's what I meant. More stuff, nicer shot. The shops were just a bit tidier, a bit cleaner. But the offers weren't so good. So I found some stuff in Under Armour that was more expensive in the, I bought it more expensive um, in the Vinelands Premium Outlets and it was $5 cheaper up at the International Drive Premium Outlets. And we saw it with the boys' trainers we nearly bought yeah. on offer. But um, yeah, so there was some, some good deals to be had, but like I like going in a shop where everything's 50% off and that's where we spend most of money on like Under Armour yeah. and in Victoria's Secret. Um, so they do all the pink, obviously they do underwear, um, but we didn't go in there for that. So Lyra and I went in there to get just some clothes and they had like, it was massive, they had loads of toiletries and stuff, but I didn't buy any because obviously I'd spent a fortune in Bath and Body Works, but they had loads of racks in sizes. It's like small, extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. And then it's, uh, everything was either 14, 9.99 or 14.99. There was some 24.99 rails and it was, and then, no, that was it. It wasn't fifty percent off. But like, so this jumper, for example, I mean, the, this big fluffy jumper with a zip and a hood cost. I think it was fourteen ninety nine. It was 
$79.95. I mean, was it ever actually? I don't know. But yeah, so I got that. That was $14.99. I got some leggings that were meant to be, again, $50. Leggings, $9.99. We got tracksuit bottoms, black ones that got say pink on them. That's their like brand, isn't it? Clothing brand, probably $9.99 or $14.99. Anyway, I mean, I could show you, it was a bit boring. Um, I'll show you my hoodie. Lila and I got matching hoodies. because So Lila's um, 11, she's quite small, but the extra small stuff fits her. But she's got a couple of pairs of leggings and stuff that were a bit, um, it was a nice big hoodie. They're a bit baggy on her legs, but they sort of fit. But anyway, we spent, I've got the receipt here. We spent um, $114. $114 in there, but our discount was $346 because everything was like $9.99 or $14.99. So it is good. Good bargains to be had there. Again, Lila got some jogging bottoms. She got some other leggings, sort of leggings that she got. Like nice, all oh, like gym stuff, really. All like. Oh, there you go, there's those ones. Yeah. Okay, and that's that. So. so the boys have obviously got, well, they had Disney hats. Um, but we thought, can't wear Disney hats in Universal, right? So whilst you were in, Ali was in Under Armour, you found these hats for the boys, so you'll see them wearing quite a lot in the last couple of weeks of the vlogs. How much were they? I think they were about $12. They were 24 I believe about $24, $25 each, but then everything in Under Armour is 50% off, so we we bought a few things in there, so that's quite good for Ali. Yeah, and they are actual kids' ones. I could not find kids' hats in most shops. At all. Me universe and we couldn't find they're all just one size fits all. It's like, well, no, because they're not they're not adults. Yeah. Different size heads and all that. Um Lila got some, she does a she's basically a dancer, so she got lots of like training, sportswear. That was in the sale already. So these are about six dollars and then reduced down to three dollars. Yeah, so that's every, mad, and it? it's nice going into a shop in the outlets where it's just very easy to discount some of them. It's like you buy something and get the third the third three or like 50% off and then certain things aren't included. In Under Armour, everything was included in the offer. Everything was 50% off yeah. mark price. So last year I got a couple of Under Armour hoodies and this year I treat myself again. They're like t-shirt hoodies, which I thought, oh, they're gonna look really weird. But I did try one on and I think they're absolutely spot on perfect for the gym. So I got a nice blue one and I got a black one exactly the same. I'm not sure about you boys, but I literally find something that I like and just buy it in every colour possible. Um, they were, so I got these, for, they were from 50 down to 25, so they were half price. But I noticed in the International Drive premium outlets, they were 19.99 for the exact same thing. So mm. there we go. That light annoyed me a little bit when I read. Also, I mentioned, I think I mentioned it in a vlog as well, but I said, oh, have you got any other discounts? And she says, are you in any of the forces emergency services or a teacher and I went well yeah I'm a teacher and she goes have you got any proof and I basically showed her a picture of me in school and she was like yeah so she gave me an extra 10% off that. gave me 10% off you could have done with that I could have done with went. that so another thing Lila got was some shorts again these were um because they've got a kids they do do children's clothes I can't remember how much this were but they were in the sale and then reduced so really cheap leggings for you Ali I bought some leggings with like little phone pockets and stuff. So these were quite expensive, but they were 50% off. So I think they're, they're like retail. Why is the tag out? I don't know. The, the retail, retail was like, like $80, 50, yeah, something, silly. something crazy. So it was a, they were about $30, $35 or something, I don't know. And then cheeky, nice. oh, this is not my size. That's my little Orlando t-shirt. Orlando I think it's fifteen dollars Honestly, you can so spot a lot of the tourists in Florida because everyone's just wearing Stuff. And then the last thing we bought these, Dexter was, so the boy's quite into football and obviously all the football players have got like hairbands and long hair and Dexter's de determined to grow his hair and use these. So we bought them just really to keep They're really on. tight and don't fit them, so. No, no, they're the big ones I got. Oh, they got big ones. Oh, and the oh, last thing, we got a school bag for Lila. This is a really nice one. Um, again, it was 50% off, so it's got a bag under there for like shoes and stuff. So it was 54.99, it was 25% off. So, 50% off. Sorry, 50% off. So that's like 25, six dollars. Yeah. I wish I got one of those for school actually. Yeah, they had yeah. all different colours. It's nice. That's right, that's under, under, again, I could have gotten the t shirts in there were like $12, something like that. So, again, it is really cheap across the board. And the shoes as well. They've got another one, a shoe shop down at the Diamonds one. And all their shoes are discounted as well. Oh, I can show you one of the three things that I bought. So, I was really. 
needing some trainers and I got myself some lovely little Nike Air Max trainers. I found sizing really difficult, certainly at the Vinelands premium outlets, they literally only had like size 12, 13s or size six and sevens in men's. So, got myself some Nike Air Maxes, they were $60, which you're looking at like 100 quid plus in anywhere else. So they were, sorry, they were from the Nike factory outlet in the International Drive premium outlets, 20% off across the board in Nike, um, and they had a lot more sizes up at the International Drive ones up there too. I find that with all the shops like Adidas and Foot Locker and stuff like that as well. So Crocs, Lila got these Crocs in, um, what was it called? Oh, the rack on. room that's it yeah, so yeah, it's buy room. one pair of shoes get the second half price so we were like picking up loads of different things but they didn't have it wasn't clock crocs certain things like all the nice shoes like crocs converse things nike. you're going to buy at nike you could only be included in the first offer like the first pair of shoes so you can have them as 50 percent off so lila we went into the crocs out there and they had buy one get one pair 25 percent off because i did fancy getting some crocs i didn't in the end um but they didn't have another size in this bone colour. They're the like the trendy ones. So we bought them from the rack room. So the only place had them in their size because she wanted to go on holiday. These were $39.99. And then with these, these had to be the first pair. We could get a second pair half price. But trying to find a pair of shoes in there that was under $39.99 because it had to be cheaper. It was quite tricky. Yeah. But I found these um, mule sliders. Um, so I got these. These were, I think these were a similar price. So these were like $15 or something or $20. But they're really nice, classic. Don't know if they're leather. Are they leather? Probably not. <laughs> they're $30. Right, come on. Um, oh, and the gibbets. So in the croc shop, these gibbets were buy 14, get 12 free. So you think that sounds like quite a good deal, but they're $5 each. So we did an order on Amazon and got like a pack. I mean, they're, they're not very good quality. They're quite thin, but it kind of kept the kids happy for a bit. They were $9.97 for 35 and you could choose like boy or girl ones or, you know, have a theme. So that's what we did. Right. Oh, this. This was a freebie, actually. So this is a nice jewellery box. I got free because I spent some money in Pandora. I haven't shown that. So it's a nice jewellery box. Mirror. It's got um, little sections in it. And then my Pandora bracelet I bought. So I've been wanting one of these for ages. And you did get them off my birthday. I got one, but it was too, too the wrong size. So I bought the Open Bangle. I bought this one in Disney Springs. They're really helpful in there. And then I bought um, this charm, which is a park exclusive. I don't know if you can see it. It's not very good. And then since then, I bought this one off, off Vinted for much cheaper. So um, every time we go to the Disney World, you can buy me a new charm. So yeah, that's <laughs> that's that's what that was. Um, is that it? No. Oh, mate. Ali likes getting souvenirs from places that we've gone to. So we didn't find, they didn't have a lot of like fridge magnets and stuff floating about. But Ali found this one from Clearwater with dolphins because it reminds her of our last day where we went on a dolphin boat and saw dolphins flipping around at the back of our boat. And then this bag I got from Uniqlo. It's like that really, you know, gone viral. That, that shot that you put it over here, that is. And it kind of sits under your, right there. Sensational. I wish I'd got one myself. And then the last thing was this. There's so many <laughs> mugs I wanted to get out there, travel mugs. And I bought this like really soon on the first day. But it's, I love the colour. Bright pink. It says Orlando on it. It's got dolphins on it. Is that from the, the wizard shop? Yeah. On 192, the wizard gift shop. 19.99. But I wish I'd got, because tea doesn't taste very good out of metal. But hey. That's it. Tea. I, I think that's it. There, there is, there is some... Two pins that we I don't know where they are. There was a Hercules pin and a hundred edition pin. So I hope I'm going to find it in a suitcase, but they've all gone in the loft now. So yeah, we won't find it until next time we go. Mm. Anywho, right, that's it. Thanks for watching our little haul video, and stay tuned. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to smash that like button and please subscribe to our channel. See you, See you soon. soon.